okay now let's go to page 4 and we're going to see some operations and we're going to follow the same idea that we had on the previous page but now we're going to use the number line okay that is the only difference we're going to do it right now this is going to be our zero okay uh, we're just going to follow the same reasoning okay we can see the signals as telling us where that number is on the number line or we can see the signal as being uh, the direction wh at which we should turn to positive or negative okay now let's see the first one I'm going to use a standard in here which negatives are going to be this positives are going to be that okay now let's just write the first set it's going to be 8 it's positive because it's blue okay plus 4 yeah, is it, is it easy? Yeah, is it easy? But I have to. I uh, in here. Let me even. Uh, in here, we're going to make negative two and negative five. I just wanted to show you that they are related somehow. Okay. Now let's start at four. At four, eight. I'm sorry. We're going to start in here. This is going to be our starting point. Well. 0, this is 5, 10, 15. We are going to start at H in here. We are going to start in here, a plus 8. This is going to be our start. Okay? Now, you start at H, and now we are going to move what? 4 to the right. Why? Because we have this positive in here. This positive says go to the right. Now, we start at H and now I'm going to use a ruler okay because I wanted to prove to you that everything it is in scale in centimeters I'm going to prove to you yeah, that if we start at H and now let's move 4 to the right so 1 2 3 4 okay that's what we are moving I don't have to say plus 4 in here because the, the arrow it is telling us the direction okay this 4 means the magnitude of this arrow is going to be 4 and we're going to land in here and what is that well that's going to be 11 12 well as it should be right okay of course so we start at H we move the 4 to the right because of this plus and we arrive at 12 now let's do the same process 8 plus 4 of course equals 12 but now I'm going to start in here why I am selecting the plus 4 not just the 4 because like I told you it is a set the group it is plus 4 not just 4 okay now we're going to start at 4 this is 5 10 15 we're going to start in here plus 4 this is going to be our starting point and now we are going to move what? We are going to move eight, okay, to the right. Why? Because it's positive. Positive always goes to the right. Always, 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 always. Uh, seven, eight, right? In here, eight. That's the, this number in here. It starts in here again. I'm not going to put a plus 8, not because it's not necessary, no, because this is the magnitude, this is this, the length of this arrow, the, um, the, the positive it's included on the direction of this arrow, okay, and in here, of course, we have landed at 12 as we shoot okay so it doesn't matter where we stop and it's of course but this is obvious everybody knows how to add positive numbers especially low numbers like that of course it is it is uh, uh, it is not difficult but I just wanted to make a cross relation to the negatives now it is the same thing okay dealing with negatives and positive as long as we just see this as being a group this is one group and this is another group like in here okay 
like in here. Now, again, well, let's start with that. So this is going to be our starting point. Don't worry, in, the, uh, in here I'm going to start with negative 5. Now let's start with negative 2. So this is going to be 0. Uh, neg uh, negatives are pink. Okay? Those pins, they oh, stay here. Now, negative 1, negative 2. Okay? This is going to be negative 2. We are go this is going to be our start. Okay, now, what should you do? We should go to the left, right? Why should you go to the left? Why? We should go to the left because it's a negative. That negative it is telling us go to left. Okay? So we are going to the left. How many? Five. Okay, so here we are. And we are going to the left five units okay five you see number five in here start in here and go five to the left again should I place the negative in here no I don't want to do that I didn't say it's wrong I didn't say I don't want to do that why because this five means only the magnitude okay of this arrow the arrow per se it is telling us the direction okay the negative it's included in on the direction of this arrow okay and where have we landed this is what negative 2 negative 3 negative 4 this is going to be a negative 5 negative 6 negative 7 this is the end right okay so negative 2 with negative 5 is going to be negative 7 well again Let's do the same thing, but now negative 2, negative 5. Again, I'm going to start with this guy in here. This is going to be our start. Of course, this still must be negative 7 because we are not changing anything, okay? So, this is our 0, negative 5, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative, negative 5. This is negative 5. So, this is going to be our start. And again, oh, this arrow doesn't mean anything, okay? Um, I just don't want to draw those arrows over the number line. That's why they, they, they mean nothing, okay? It should not even be an arrow. Okay, but I think it's more, it's more fancy to put an arrow, that's why. So, uh, getting back to math, we are going to start at negative 5. Now, what does that mean, that negative in here? That negative, it is telling you, okay, please go to the left two units. Right? That's what it's telling us. No problems. Let's follow instructions. Just like when we are um, not assembling, when we are preparing a cake, right? We have to follow instructions, otherwise, we're going to get something different than the cake. Uh, okay, this is 2. The magnitude of this arrow, it is 2, okay? The negative, it is included in the direction of this arrow, and 2. Again, where have we landed? Let's count. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, negative 7. This is going to be the end. Okay, negative 7. Okay, no problems. What have we made? We just have to... What does it mean? We start at negative 5 and go back, go back to units like that. Just go back to 1. If this is a little rabbit, 2 steps. Okay, in here, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 steps. In here, where we're moving forward, four. One, two, three, four. Okay? Always moving forwards. Again, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Always going to the right according to that signal here. No problem so far? Okay? So, 
this is our fourth video and what is to be seen in here okay let's try to uh, squeeze this paper and get information from it it's the same isn't it dealing about positive and negatives it is the same as long as you think about this here where is it in here as long as we think like this well when we are when we start to resolve this equation we well let's start with this number here so the 8 it's a positive so the first thing we have to accomplish is well where are we going to start let's start at 8 or maybe where are we going to start we're going to start at minus 3 that minus tell is telling us where we are where we should start now after we have our starting point where should we go we should go at the direction at which the signal is telling us so we should go to the right if it's a plus or to the left if it's a minus therefore you start at 8 and go backwards go backwards okay five units okay it means go back the, the uh, that what it means that signal right okay that's all that's the only thing we have to to, to work uh, to, to know about okay and that's why when we're dealing about positives start at h and move forward four because it's positive now in here we start at negative two and now move backwards five okay now what we are uh, i'm going to introduce a little bit the next page what does that mean all all of this it means just that when we have just positives we are just growing bigger and bigger into the positive direction okay in here we are going bigger and bigger into the right place now if we just have negatives what are we uh, what are we doing we are just growing more and more negative like for instance like let's say uh, we have a bank account and maybe okay it should not happen this but maybe sometimes sometimes it does happen okay uh, but for one or two days it does doesn't kill anybody uh, let's suppose that we are in a bank we have a bank account and suddenly um, um, a bill is paid and then you are maybe at minus fifty dollars and so your account it is at negative fifty dollars and let's suppose that uh, maybe uh, somebody uh, also <clears throat> uh, charge the bank charge a fee or, or something like that over that uh, your account you, you you were already with negative fifty dollars and let's suppose that the, the bank just charges anything there and it charges thirty dollars so you were already at negative fifty if the bank charges an extra thirty you are just you are just getting more and more negative so you were at negative fifty if the bank charges an extra thirty dollars it's a negative over your account right so it's going to be negative fifty with negative thirty it means that you are just growing bigger and bigger into the negative uh, status of your account and now you are negative eighty okay so when we just have positives we just grow into the positive side when we just have negatives we just had two ads but now adds into the negative side and you see two and five it's seven okay we just have to add them but add them into the negative direction it is just like that okay so see you in the next video okay